Good morning, y'all. So this morning I am going to do something for the ladies. Um, what I'm making this morning is an oxymel. We all kind of know about tinctures and and even making our homemade essential oils and things like that. But an oxymel, um, just a little different from a tincture or a glycerin. What an oxymel is is a honey and vinegar base. Um, now, people make this all different ways, different ratios. Some cook that, uh, cook it down with water. I don't do any of that. Um, I just try to keep stuff made up in advance where I know when things are going to be an every month issue um, that I have something on hand. So this one I'm doing, um, like I said, is for the ladies. I think that's about the, the best hints I can give you here. So what I have is some raspberry leaf. And it is organic. It was sent to me by a very good friend of mine. And I'm just going to put some in a jar. Uh, see, this is why I always keep something underneath me. Because I always seem to make a mess. Okay. So this is raspberry leaf in the jar. And then what you're simply going to do is a honey and vinegar mixture. And what I do is just pour it right over the top of it. Um, ratios are one part vinegar to five parts honey, four parts honey, um, half and half. You know, I just kind of, I guess, eyeball it myself, and mine ends up probably being about half and half. Um, these things have been in existence w way back for hundreds and hundreds of years. Um, the Greeks, as far as I know, is where it came from, um... There's an old book, if you ever get a chance to find it, too, by Dr. D.C. Jarvis called Folk Medicine. And he wrote it in 1958. And according to which herbs that you're using in this, he said this was the cure-all. Um, we already know, you know, that when we get the certain herbs in our body, they can help us fight women's issues, respiratory um pain, inflammation. So, you know, you just gauge it, the herb for whatever it is that you're dealing with. So I have some organic honey and I am going to just, I like the honey that, that runs for this one specifically myself. And I'm going to do, um, right now it's probably at a good third of the jar, herb being on the bottom honey in the middle and then I'm just topping it off with some homemade apple cider vinegar and get my stir stick here I do like to go through and kind of um, stir the herb into it because I am going to make sure this jar is full to the top what you're going to do when you get this all mixed up is that you are going to put it somewhere cool and dark and you're going to shake it every couple weeks <clears throat> and then after two weeks strain it out and you'll have the liquid left and I don't I hope you can see that there is still herb floating onto the top so I'm just going to repeat Another bit of honey and a little more apple cider just to take it to the top of the jar. I think we all know the benefits of apple cider vinegar and honey. And that's really it. So you're just going to put the lid on. I would shake it up actually. I am going to shake it up actually as soon as I put the lid on. Then just stick it somewhere cool and dark. You can use this as a gargle. Again, depending on what herbs you're putting in there, like even echinacea. We all know that's really good for infections and things like that. I am not a medical doctor, nor do I play one on TV, but I know what works for me. Um, you can gargle with it. You can take a spoonful of it and put it in a glass of water. You can take a spoonful and put it in a cup of tea. Um... 
there's lots of ways to use this so there you go guys um, raspberry leaf oxymel give them a try you can even use them as salad dressings and things too by the way because they actually do kind of taste pretty good um, you know that way you're getting honey and the apple cider vinegar into finicky eaters and stuff as well too that's all have a wonderful day God bless you okay I made a boo-boo in my video I said to shake it a couple times in two weeks uh, it sits for two weeks you want to go through and just shake this a couple times a week okay so wanted to get that added on there and get it corrected this is what happens when you make videos and you're not 100 percent there you go guys that's it have a good day